Today we're going to be looking at what some could argue is the greatest tennis racket with a Prince name on it. We're going to have a look at the Prince Graphite 110. Welcome to Retro Rackets Rediscovered, the series where we find old tennis rackets from thrift stores, learn the history of them, and test them out on the court. The progression of tennis racket frame material moved from wood and aluminum frames in the 1970s towards full-framed graphite tennis rackets in the early 1980s. The Prince Graphite was one of the first to debut. Prototyped in 1978 through 1979, it released to the public in 1980 to a huge commercial and professional success. There were three versions of this tennis racket. One made mid-sized at 90 square inches, one made super-sized at 125 square inches, and the most popular, the oversized at 110 square inches. This racket was manufactured all the way until 2016 in many different versions. But they all had around the same frame construction. Oversized oval head, stabilizer bar, black paint with green accent. This racket here is the oversized version, advertised as the Prince Graphite 110. But this one is actually closer to 107 square inches in head size. If you look up names for this tennis racket now, you'll find either Prince Graphite, Prince Original Graphite, or even the acronym version, POG for short. Now this thing has a distinct paint job, painted entirely black and has this nice single green accent, at least for this version. Other versions had multiple green lines going throughout the frame, but that's one of the ways you can tell how old this racket is. Now this racket, if you read the copyright on the side, it says 1978 and 1983. So you can tell this one came from sometime in between that. If you look closely at the grommets on this one, it's not a plastic piece that encompasses multiple grommets. They're individual plastic grommets through each of the holes on the racket. So you can tell this is one of the earlier versions of the Prince Graphite. And one of the key most distinct features of this racket is a single stabilizer bar on the throat. Now this combined with a 19 millimeter thick beam leads to a racket with well-balanced control and power that has found success not only through the general public but professionally as well. This racket has found great success amongst touring professionals from its first adoption in 1980s through the 1990s and even into the 2000s. You have three decades of this racket being used professionally. Some of its more famous users include Michael Chang, who used an extended length version of this, Andre Agassi, who used this before being sponsored by Head, Monica Sells used it in the early part of her career before switching to Yonex, Gabriella Sabatini used it to win the 1980 US Open, and Vince Spatia, who used it to win the 2004 Franklin Templeton Classic. Now from practicing with this racket, it feels a lot like the Prince Spectrum Comp 110, but this one is slightly stiffer. The thin beam reduces the power a bit, but this is made up for the oversized head we have. I have taken it out a few times to practice, and I gotta say, it plays like a dream. In fact, it makes me not want to use the Spectrum Comp 110, and from my other video, I've told you how much I really love that racket. This one's really great for backhands, slices, and volleys. Now, with that being said, let's go demo it out on the tennis court. So now that we've gone over some of the earliest offerings from Prince, we'll be looking at some offerings from other manufacturers of the era. So be sure to subscribe to Retro Rackets Rediscovered. Never miss a new 
Discovery. We'll see you in the next video. Let's go demo it out on the tennis court.